Hi, this is Kerry with Learn DaVinci Resolve, and today we're going to take a look at how to use DaVinci Resolve to edit Mavic 2 Pro M-Log footage. So stay right there. Okay, so we're going to start off with uh, a couple things we need to know about Mavic 2 footage. First off, M-Log is 10-bit if you're in H.265. 4K, HQ mode, it's best quality, and there's a couple things to it. First, it's going to look a little flat, so it needs to be color graded. Now, if you're not going to be into color grading your footage, don't shoot log. Pretty simple. Just shoot the normal modes, and it's going to look better right out of the camera, and you're not going to have to do any of the things we're going to talk about here. But if you want to make the most out of your footage, you want to shoot in M-Log. So the two things here, first we have this piece of footage here and it just looks kind of washed out. There's no real color to it. And if you look at the top here, you can see some of this fisheye distortion. Here's uh, another one. We have some of this fisheye distortion up here. Now the reason why there's some fisheye distortion on the Mavic 2 Pro and it's only in the 10-bit H.265 M-Log 4K HQ mode is one very specific mode and you're going to run into some of this distortion issue. And that's because this takes a tremendous amount of processing power to correct this live in camera. And the Mavic 2 Pro, while it can save that, it can't process it at the same time. So you have to do your processing after the fact. And since you have to color grade log footage anyway, well, you might as well add the distortion correction to it and just get it all out of the way. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to DJI's website. We're going to download a LUT, which is a lookup table, which is going to get us into the right color space. And from there, we'll do the lens distortion correction. So let's take a look. So if I go over to the DJI website, Once I go to the DJI website, I want to go to the Mavic 2 page and under here, under software is a D-Log M to Rec 709 LUT. So we're going to download that. It's a very, very small file. And let's go to my downloads. And we have this cube file and that's all there is to it. It's just this one little tiny file. We're going to go into DaVinci Resolve. We're going to go into our preferences. Go to color management. Scroll down. Open the LUT folder. And I have a DJI folder already. There it is up here. And I'm going to take this file. Where did it go? Come here. There we go. And I'm going to drag this LUT file into my DJI folder. Oops, didn't go in the right folder. There we go. DLOG M to Rec 709. I'm going to close this and then go update lists. Once that's finished, we're going to click save. Now, to do a color grade on this is very simple. We come up here to LUTs. We find DJI and we got to find our D-Log M2 Rec 709. So look at the before and after here. I'm just going to add it and I can turn this on and off. And you can see it goes from very washed out to having very nice color profile. So we've got a good basis. We can still adjust our exposure. We can adjust the colors. Maybe I want to tweak this up a little bit. Things are a little ugly this time of year. So I'll just kick up my saturation just a hair and pretty much good to go. Now we need to fix that distortion. So I'm going to do option S and create a new node up in the upper right hand corner, go to open effects and scroll down until you find resolve effects warp and the lens distortion. We're going to drop that onto that node. Now this is what we're actually seeing straight from the sensor. So it is a very distorted view and that's very typical of raw footage. It's, it needs to be corrected. 
So over here on the right, we, can, we know that DJI's recommendation is 0.18. Boom, nice and straight. That's really all there is to it. Now, if I go to the next piece of footage, oops, I kind of had these backwards here, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go to my LUTs, I'm gonna go to my D-Log M, and close that. Now we can do it before and after. So we got some color in there. Again, I'm gonna do option S, go to my open effects, drop my lens distortion on there and go to 0.18 and bam, we have corrected footage. So if you're using a Mavic 2 Pro in H.265, in 4K HQ mode, <laughs> shooting log, this is what you're gonna want it to do if you're running DaVinci Resolve. So hopefully this has uh, helped some of you with your footage and stay tuned for tons of other videos coming up as well. Thanks for watching. Be sure and click on subscribe, like the video, share it with other people who might need some help with this and make sure you click that bell icon to be notified every time that we do a new video. So thanks for watching. We will catch you next time. Bye-bye.